can go on in, Rick. Well, this way? Yeah. 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 friend right on face there's the camera right there um, come come right on over here you put, give me that and tell me your friend where's your friend oh there's a here. friend he has sure, a friend. right here <clears throat> say hello there hello there uh, what is your name my name is mark your name's charlie hello mark hello mark how are you no i'm charlie Char mark. Say, charlie how are you? hello there how are you Oh, better we, win. we have all better we wore down. Yeah, yeah. We have all kinds of characters here at this place. Oh, I didn't yeah. expect to meet a here. silver dollar. Here's your tip. <laughs> so perfectly all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's have a little talk with Mr. Di Vernon, the professor, and Richard, the great groom. <laughs> Richard, what do you have to say of Mr. Professor? He's the greatest, <laughs> and he's done a lot for me. <laughs> No, Richard's a very nice guy, or he wouldn't say anything like that. I've done very little for Richard, but right. I've been a great... Well, I met him in the Magic Castle in uh, Hollywood, the famous Magic Castle. He's worked there two or three times, and I met him. And every time he comes to town, I naturally get together with him. <laughs> he fools me with all the different things he does, right? Once in a while. <laughs> Has he been properly uh, respectful of you these days? No, I don't want any respect. I, I don't expect respect as long as I, I have a great many friends and I don't know, they tolerate me, so I'm very lucky. <laughs> <laughs> well, what was the uh, one of the most memorable things, uh, times that you've had with Rick? Well, one of the memorable things was when they had a, a seminar in Las Vegas uh, a couple of years ago. They had a competition, about 40 participants from all over the country to see who was a, did the best uh, close-up act, called close-up, I mean, that is intimate, an intimate performance. And I said, well, Richard Turner, Turner will win it, and everybody laughed. They said, he hasn't a chance, but he won it without any trouble at all. <laughs> well, how did, he, how did he do that? I'm not clever, but I'm a pretty good judge, I think. After 88 years of watching magic, you, you've got to have some sense or have uh, some, some discretion. <laughs> well, can you tell us how he pulled that off? Just I by, by, by sh <laughs> no sheer skill. That's the way he did it by doing better than anybody else. That's all. Richard, what's one of the mo more memorable experiences you've had with Di Vernon? Oh, uh, one time at the castle, he was going to show me something, but uh, somebody was 30 feet away, and so he wouldn't show it to me because someone might see. <laughs> An eavesdropper. An eavesdropper. <laughs> he can't do much better because he's almost perfection now. So. I don't know to what heights he can climb. I, that's, that's a mystery. I don't know. I'm sure everybody's enjoying themselves very much, and we're blessed with a beautiful day, which is typical of San Diego, though. Yes. <laughs> Maybe we can get you to move over here and just stay with all of us. Well, thank you very much. <laughs>
Well, uh, shall we go upstairs? Absolutely. We'll absolutely. see you upstairs. See you upstairs. Bye-bye. We used to say walk upstairs and save 10, remember, in the old days? <laughs>